Welcome to Trick Time. Today we're teaching our dog to put its front paws onto an object. This trick is one that you use in daily life, maybe more often than you think. It's also a versatile building block that can be built on as you progress through the higher trick levels. For many basic tricks, I like to teach the opposite action at the same time. Some tricks I train in pairs are on and off, in and out, over and under, or give and take. While teaching paws up, we'll also be teaching paws off. Here's what the trick looks like. Coco, go sniff the flowers. Paws on. Good girl. Paws off. Yes. Before you get started, choose a few items around the house or yard that are appropriately sized for your dog. For a larger dog, this might be a footstool, a chair, an overturned wash tub, a box, or a turned over basket. For a smaller dog, it could be a book, a cushion, a yoga block, or a shoe box. To begin with, you may want to give your dog a few treats just for being near, sniffing at, or interacting with the object. Hold a treat just over the object, near the edge closest to the dog. Say the verbal cue, pause up, and encourage your dog to place its front paws on the object. At the beginning, a single paw on or even a good attempt deserves a reward. For paws off, you'll do the same thing in reverse. While your dog has its paws on the object, bring a treat to the nose, give the verbal cue, paws off, move your hand away, back towards the ground, and reward when the front paws hit the ground. In the early stages, you'll be using a reward both for paws up and then for paws off. Now Coco's a pretty little girl, so we're going to start with just a low box for her. At the beginning, she just gets a treat or two just for hanging around and interacting with the object. And we'll try. Coco, paws up. Good girl, that was one paw. Good for you. Let's try it again. Coco. Paws up and both paws. Good girl. We'll do the reverse on the way back. Paws off and lure her off. She gets her reward when she's back on the ground. So just a few treats for hanging around the object. Good girl. And treat to the nose. Paws up. Yes, good girl. That was one paw. Good for you. Let's do it again. The nose. Paws up. Oh, paws. Oh, good girl. Now the opposite. Treat to the nose. Paws off. And a reward when she's back on the ground. As you practice, your dog should start to put its paws up and off sooner and sooner after the verbal cue. Now you can eliminate the treat in your hand and simply tap or touch the edge of the object as you give your verbal cue. As the paws come up or off as cued, Praise and reward. Gradually, reduce the treat reward by giving it only occasionally. As your dog progresses with the trick, try paws up and paws off with all sorts of objects around the house and yard. New items might be a plant pot, a footstool, a stack of books, or maybe a cinder block. Use your imagination. There's probably many things that you can try. The more objects that you practice with, the more solidly that your dog will understand the behavior. That's all for today. We're so glad you came to play with us. Join us again for trick time.